The trousers are laid out on a flat surface. The parts, such as zipper and button, on the trousers are turned inside out. The places that will be measured must be between the seams. The distance between under the waistband and the seam line on the trouser leg is taken as the front length to measure the distance between the seams. This distance is marked. As it is measured before washing, the size is recorded as a preliminary length. Then on the back of the trousers, the space between the waistband and the seam line of the trouser cuff is measured as the back length in the same way. The distance between the marks is determined. The back length is recorded. The measurement of the distance between the crotch and the leg cuff is taken. As for the width, it is measured on the belt area. The size of the calf area, which is the widest area in the trousers, is measured. The width of the leg cuff is taken by measuring the distance between the seams. The test sample is subjected to the washing process after these measurements have been done. We use three different detergents to obtain the detergent mixture that will be used as a dimensional change test after washing and drying. 77% of 11.8 grams of the mixed detergent solution should be ECE detergent, which is 9.09 grams. After reading the value on the screen, we put it into a beaker. Then, 20% of the portion of the sodium perperate detergent, which is 2.36 grams, is weighed in the balance. This weighed detergent, 2.36 grams, is added to the ECE detergent 9.09 .09 grams. Then we add tap water and a fish magnet 
to the detergent to make sure that it reaches 40 degrees centigrade in the magnetic stirrer. After the detergent has reached 40 degrees centigrade, we wait for it to cool down to 30 degrees centigrade. Before putting the detergent into the machine, 3% 0.354 grams tetraacetylethylene diamine, which is known as bleaching detergent, is weighed. The weighed detergent is added to the solution that is cooled down to 30 degrees centigrade. Thus, it has been prepared for the washing operation. The test sample that we have prepared for the dimensional change is put into the automatic washing machine. Before putting it in, the balance weight is reset. The load balancing fabrics that are put with the test sample are completed up to 2 kilograms. The device lid is closed. We check on the screen to see whether the total weight of the load balancing fabric that is put together with the sample is 2 kilograms. Then the desired washing program is selected from the washing list of the machine. After selecting the desired washing program, I push the start button and the washing process begins. I add the detergent mixture that I prepared previously. After the washing process has been finished, the test sample is dried by applying drying methods. There are five different drying methods. Hanger drying, hanger drying along a straight line, even drying, even pressed iron drying and drum drying. The test sample is dried by applying one of these drying processes. The sample is conditioned at standard atmospheric conditions after the washing and drying processes. The test sample is placed over a smooth area after the conditioning process and the measurement have been done. In this measuring process, the shrinking or elongation is determined according to the recorded measurements that were taken before the test was started. If there is an elongation, the result is positive. If there is a shrinkage, the result is negative.